Hey guys, Crater here, and welcome back to yet another Trollcraft video. I know what you guys are thinking. Crater, you did a Trollcraft video yesterday. Are you doing it daily again? And uh, crazy family, unfortunately, I cannot promise anything because I'm only gonna record Trollcraft when there's something fun to do. And right now, I got a bunch of stuff I want to get done. Also, guys, I noticed that there was a slight bit of hate. In yesterday's video and that is kind of my fault let me explain what happened so i logged on the server i experienced sunday's troll i logged off talked to sunday came back the next day to actually get rid of that security terminal now i don't know what happened but i didn't assume that i was getting trolled so i was just like well there's a chest here let me destroy it clean it up done a lot of you guys got really mad about that which is understandable and i don't uh, I'm not mad at you for that, but calm down, man. <laughs> anyway, so I talked to Jordan, asked him if it was his thing. He said, yes. I asked him what was inside of it. He said, you're a freaking dumb craner. And I said, yes, I know. I shouldn't have destroyed it. But he just told me that the only thing that was inside of it was a book that said he chose all else. Meaning, he didn't want to do uh, give me DNA, which I already knew because he hadn't put DNA in my chest. So... I don't really know why you guys freaked out so much, but if you guys are still enjoying Trollcraft, hit that like button down below. Also, if you're at all new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, click that little bell next to it, and uh, let's just get right into it. So the first thing I want to show you guys is uh, I've done a bit of an upgrade on the troll that I did on Sunday yesterday. You guys remember that troll I did, right? Where I put giant me's in his base well i told you guys that i would add to it off cam and uh, brace yourselves look at this <laughs> i made them so much bigger now i know a lot of you guys were like trainer that's not really a bad thing but this is the first warning okay unless i can just get his dna from this bed right here this is only the first warning out of many in case he still doesn't want to give me his DNA. I'm also going to do the same thing to Sparkles. But let's first try to head back to our base. Grab a few tech lock kits and see if we can actually get Sunday's DNA. And then we'll see if we can also get Sparkles. That would be really freaking awesome if I could get those two people's DNA. I feel so weird stealing my friend's DNA. But that's Minecraft for you, bro. <laughs> okay, so let's go down here. Uh, tech lock. Oh, we only got one. I guess we can make another one. Another one. I guess we can make another one, though. Uh, let's see. Uh, there it is. All right. Uh, okay, here we go. And no, what are we missing? Uh, we're not missing bones. Uh, we're missing flint, which we can make with uh, gravel, which we can make. We can make gravel out of. Wait, this is a way to make gravel, right? How do you make gravel? I think it's like a couple of cobblestone. That you use? I could be wrong, though. Uh, don't have that. Uh, there we go. There we go. Now we got two tech lock kits. And I guess that's enough for now. But I do want to try to get more. So let's fly to uh, Sparkle's house. And let's see if we can take his two. Wait, what? Sparkle's 15. Sunday 8. Crater 6. Latest is hashtag soon. That was my troll, right? Wait, isn't it an achievement point if I get the last place on the scoreboard? I think that's actually an achievement point. I have to remember that. I want to see if I can actually get an achievement for that. All right, so let's see. He has a bed right here. What? Eh. Eh. How... Why did I just get my own DNA from the bed inside of Sparkle's house? <laughs> what was that about, dude? Have I slept in that bed before? I am so confused about that. I don't even know how to explain that, dude. It anyway, let's see if we can get the DNA from Sunday, I guess. This is very confusing to me. Well, the only thing I ended up having was a, a bunch of my DNA, which I really can't use for anything. Anyway, let's head back to the base. Let's see if we got an achievement for getting last on the scoreboard. <laughs> I guess that's something to celebrate, right? Yay! I'm a loser! Okay, so I got my achievement stand right here. Let's see 
if there's anything I can actually like cross off. Wait, your paternal instincts are calling. Settle down and raise both a boy and a girl. We haven't done that one, unfortunately. Okay, so I'm trying to find the one that tells me that I should achieve last place, right? And I don't know where that is. Not yet, at least. But I guess I could find out somehow. Uh, join the big leagues. That's definitely not it. Obtain a plasma shotgun. Don't have that. Uh, build a new communal mob gr uh, grinder. Don't have that. Give another player a flower. Haven't done that. Uh, successfully defuse the escalate a troll war. I don't think I've done that. At least not knowingly. <laughs> While invisible, not that one. Uh, block a neighbor, dig a deep hole, craft the clever, improve, uh, use the secret. Where is it, dude? I know it's here somewhere. I just know it is. Accurately predict someone's reaction to a troll. Force someone to watch a Bond villain go ham on someone so hard that they beg for mercy. Where is it? Where's the. Th I know it's there somewhere, dude. I just know it is. Put a top hat on your favorite golem. That's definitely not it either, dude. Where is this thing? Oh, I already have a crop. Well, I'm a freaking idiot, I guess. Also, there's another troll that I want to do on Sunday since he didn't tell me, uh, since he didn't follow my instructions, right? And that thing is, I want to get a crap lot, a crap lot, a crap ton of cobblestone now the question is should we do it with magical crops i guess we could we just need earth seeds and uh, fire seeds yeah let's do that okay so what we do is we just put them in here I'm not, i don't need the dye seeds anymore so let's try to farm these real quick and the reason why i want to do this is because i have a troll for him that revolves around cobblestone if i can execute this the right way he's gonna be so freaking upset by this troll so i hope that i can we just need to let this sit for a bit but it grows so fast that i think it will be successful and i'll also put it on these ones over here off camp just so we make enough cobble for what we need he only plays on saturdays i can put some more growth pulses down we should be fine now what i want to do is we actually need to take this cauldron and find a new place for it because it's not really a good place that i've chosen to to do witchery i kind of need like a big flat area i guess and i don't know where the, i guess we could do it up here i see i think it's fine up here right uh, well, I just messed that up right there. Yo, why do I mine so slowly, dude? I thought I mined a lot quicker. I do know what. Let's do a little bit of brain thinking and, and find a better place. Okay, I think I know what to do, guys. So we're going to take dirt. A whole lot of dirt. Because you know what they say. That's the word. <sighs> I don't know what's wrong with me, okay? <laughs> anyway, what I want to do is I want to make a big flat platform for this uh, witchery mod right here. Because we do need quite a big area if we want to do it successfully. And a lot of it actually goes on on dirt. So that's just a giant plus. That's why I love this mod so much, guys. Except for the fact that I hate it. Because it has to do with demonic rituals and crap like that. But other than that, it's pretty freaking cool if it just didn't have all that shady stuff going on. Alright, so we need to go like this. Make it bigger. And I think this is gonna be sufficient for now. Also, I will have to place some uh, giants in the uh, sparkle space. But we'll do that in a second. Now, I wanna go back to the Emmy system. Because I need something fundamental in order for this to work right here. What we need is we need a netherrack. Oh, oh. We don't have any netherrack? Can I make netherrack? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I freaking knew it, dude. What about a flint and steel? All right, well, we definitely have iron the last time I looked. Uh, the crap happens all of my iron. Shot in a mission. Okay, so if we put this down here, flint and steel right there, then we need to put the cauldron on top of this. So put this here and the cauldron right there. Now it is heating up. Now I think we just need to put water inside of the witch's cauldron and we'll have kind of like the start of the entire thing which is really cool we don't have any water what about some buckets uh, oh yeah we do have a bucket right here which we are going to need quite a lot so let me actually take some of this stuff right here and let's make an infinite water sauce i feel like that's the best way to do it at least let's just jump some of this right there we don't need that anyway right now so do we have oh yeah there's a river right down here that is perfect dude let's take this 
Take that, and I'm not gonna pay any mind to you, Mr. Sea Creature. He looks freaking evil, dude. <laughs> anyway, now we need to put water inside of the witch's cauldron right there. And, uh, oh yeah, it needs a lot of water. Actually, I wanted to make an infinite water sauce. Why did I forget that? <laughs> Freaking brain fart, dude. Also, I really need to make sure that I don't forget to put a couple of giants in uh, Jordan space because that would be kind of fail if I forgot to do that. All right, so here, 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 here. And I guess we can block off uh, this. We can just do that with netherrack. Nobody's gonna notice, right? And this right here. And water. And water. Now we have an infinite water source. Beautiful, dude. I might want to bring a chest out here, actually. Look at that. It's now actually boiling the water. It's so freaking awesome, dude. Anyway, let me go put a couple of giants in uh, Captain Sparkle space. And then let's continue with a little bit of the witchery stuff. All right. Okay, so far so good. I'm kind of thinking I should place down some more as well, but I'm not really sure if I want to do that. By the way, yeah, I made a crap ton of golden lassos. I just threw them on the ground so I can like place down some more craners. Should I place down some more? The only problem is that it takes so long to actually make these guys because I have to edit another villager. And yeah, it's just a lot of freaking trouble, guys. But you saw that I had them last time. I'm going to do the rest off cam. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to place a few more, but not that many more because it takes so freaking long to do. Anyway, let's just get on with... The witchery stuff. How do I close the door? What's there? Oh, there we go. Okay, it was in the other side, I guess. All right, we need to get started on the witchery stuff. And what we need is... We need a witch's oven, which is really easy to make. All you need to do is put these together and you get one of these guys. So let's put them right there. We now have the witch's oven. And the reason why we want this one is because I want the... Uh, what's that thing called? The, the horned one? Something like that. There we go. This guy is what I want. Exhale of the horned one. So what we need is a clay jar, uh, oak wood, and uh, oak saplings. That's all we need to make this thing. Well, there's a chance that it makes it. There's also a chance that it doesn't. So let's just hope that it does. Okay, I got the soft clay jars. Now, what we need to do with these ones is we, of course, need to cook them so they become actual uh, clay jars. You know, that's all we need to do. So let's cook a couple of these guys and they will turn in to clay jars right here. So what we need now is we need oak saplings we got that and then we just need some coal we got that as well let's head back to the witch's oven and in a second hopefully we will have what we need so let's put it in here so this goes here that goes there and that goes there. That's gonna start cooking now. And hopefully we're gonna get what we want out of this. Which is that exhaled horn thing. It's really freaking awesome, guys. But anyway, crazy family. That's gonna ask me for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that like button down below. I love you all. And thank you for the love and support. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!